what do you do before going to bed largely determines exactly how well you sleep and then that determines how your next day starts off one of the biggest mistakes i see that many people make before sleeping is taking a lot of information from either news facebook um whatsapp as a result of which they start feeling a bit negative or not so powerfully influenced by those messages what hap what happens as a result of that pretty simple they go to bed they are sleeping and while it's hap while they their conscious mind is sleeping their subconscious mind is awake and it's constantly thinking about all those things that they have put in their mind before going to bed so i'm sleeping at 3 in the morning <laughs> but my mind is wandering around the gst my mind is constantly worrying about tomorrow's presentation my mind is constantly worrying about the school fees that i have to pay for the next quarter for my children right and as a result it's a constant worry 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 and then you wake up in the morning at 7 am or 5 or 8 or 11 whenever and by the time you wake up you don't feel very positive you don't feel very <clears throat> excuse me empowered so you know something is missing but you look at the watch and you see that i slept a lot of hours then why did i not feel so good just after waking up well the answer is you did not feed your mind the right way so the right thing to do is to feed your mind with one of those three things right now and we we go very much in depth about it in some of my high end retreats and high level masterminds where i uh, mentor people throughout uh, their entire life and look at we look at exactly what's going on in their relationship in their uh, money in their uh, health in their confidence in all different areas of their lives and we figure out exactly where they want to be we even expand the goals and then we create a step by step strategy to get there along with um daily accountability and mentoring with me so we go very much in depth about exactly how to um maximize your sleep um uh, so that it gives you a feeling of amazing great things but i'm going to give you three things that you can do tonight for those of you who are listening live onto this live stream so you are in for a treat If you'd like to listen to those three things, why don't you just quickly um, type in the comment the word no the the number three, just the number three. Yeah, Kavya, just <clears throat> if you want to know the three take three things you can do before sleeping tonight that can maximize your sleep and make you feel more positive when you wake up in the morning. That's right. 3. Just put down the number 3 below. Let me see who else. Hmm. Nice. Good to see you. Somik, Mitch, Jim, Manoj. So here is what you do. You ready? Three things. Number 1, is you either um instead of checking whatsapp and facebook you take a physical book in your hand <laughs> no facebook but physical book man you take one of those good books anything it should not be anything technical typically something that you know eases teaches you a little bit about success or life or anything that motivates you um anything you know just read it for one page before going to bed so ditch the facebook pick up the physical book uh, that's one second what you can do is pretty simple 
I call it the journaling technique. Um, basically what I do, and there are, you know, many different ways to journal. We talk about it in our mastermind program. Raka, make sure you tell your father, I'm a big fan of his acting, by the way. I was watching Bomkish Bokshi the other day and he was the police officer into that, in that movie. So a big fan of your father's acting, Raka. Let, let him know that. Second thing you can do is journaling. Basically, you take down your, uh, a piece of paper and you write down three great things that happened today. In fact, if you're, I see so many of you watching, just take down, a, uh, take, take down a pen and paper tonight before going to bed and write three great things that happened today. I'll tell you why it's very, very important. Um, my mentor, Jesse, taught me about it. It's, he calls it the time travel. And what happens in this process is uh, how most people are wired to live their life is they sit down and they always think about the, the future, which is great. And they always want to achieve more, I think, which is a great thing to do. But while they do it, they forget to celebrate how far they have already uh, come. And as a result, uh, they don't become very, very happy, um, rather because they are always looking for more. And it's kind of like the guy who makes five crore rupees every single month, but he wants more. And which is great. You should want more. And you, you, you have your right to want more. But while he wants to make more money, he's not happy with the five or six crore that he's already making. He's not happy right now. So he thinks that once I make 10 crore, then I'll be happy. He makes the 10 crore and then he's not happy because now he wants to make 20, which is good. Wanting to make the 20 is good, but not being happy with the 10. How is that good? Right? So look at the pen, take a pen and paper, three great things that happened today. In fact, look, I'm going to challenge you right now in an amazing positive way because you're not here. You are, you are listening to this audio right now or this video. You are online because you want to now share. You want to get into your greatness rather than staying into your nervousness and staying into your uh, challenges and problems that are currently bothering you, correct? So here's what I want you to do. I want to invite you to share not three things, but one great thing that happened today. Right in the comment box right now. One great thing that happened today. It can be in your personal life, can be professional, can be financial, can be that you did something, you felt something. One great thing that happened today. Do -do 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 -do. Time to stop being an audience. Time to start being a player. Here is why. Viewers pay. Players get paid. I can see some people leaving, which is amazing. Thank you so much. And what a great people, right? You know, people who want to leave, that's, that's fine. That's great. Their choice, and I respect them. What I mean, that, that's amazing. But what, what inspires me is the people who, who are still listening and watching this. <laughs> One great thing that happened in your life today. Put down in the comments specifically. Should I keep a separate journal for that? Maybe yes, maybe no. Um, Nagesh, when, since you are part of our mastermind right now, I'm going to show you our journaling techniques in the next uh, mastermind in Jan, January. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do it. So, But for now, uh, you can just, um, in your current journal, you can do that before going to bed. One quick question. All right, great. Yeah, Kavya. So he wasn't talking good to me, but now he's talking well. I'm grateful for this. Awesome. I don't know who that he is, but this is amazing. Great. Whoever that he is, he is awesome. <laughs> who else? Awesome. So Nagesh, yeah, let me know what's one thing, one great thing that happened in your life today. I'll wait for a few more seconds. Good good questions and good comments. I, I really love this kind of interaction uh, with people in my community who I lead and serve in an amazing, powerful way. So one great thing that happened in your life today, my friend, this is the time. This is the, this is the work that most people are not willing to do because they just want to watch instead of do. So if you are honestly an excuse maker and you just like to get more information and tips, this is not right for you. You can leave and I respect you for that. But if you really want to dig deep 
type in the comment one great thing that happened in your life today. Akash, man, get ready to donate the money. You didn't call at 10.30 today. So, time to pay some money, Mr. Marwari. <laughs> no, man. Love you, brother. So, I uh, got, got to hear from a candidate on LinkedIn Connection who is an IITN. That's awesome. So, he's going to be one of your probably clients. Uh, great. Lars, good to see you, brother. I hope uh, you join Jesse on November 17, 18, 19. I'm not going to be making it there in Las Vegas or whatever he's doing in the magician's home. But good to see you, brother. All right. So that's the second technique. You always want to uh, uh, write down three great things that happened today. And the third thing that you can do is um, one of my favorites. It's actually sending or scheduling either a verbal or a written appreciation for somebody. So, for example, uh, let's say you know that you have a friend or a relative or a client or a neighbor who has been going through a tough time um, and you want to encourage them. Or maybe you have a friend who you have not met for a long time and you want to just connect with them. So why not sending a quick message to them, like an SMS, um, or a voice message on WhatsApp if you really have to use WhatsApp before sleeping, which is understandable sometimes. Uh, send a quick message. Hey, man, uh, been a long time. I didn't meet you. Just want to let you know that I'm looking forward to meeting you soon in near future. Let me know what's going on in your life. Uh, take care. Bye-bye. Boom. That's it. And you send it out. Now, what happens is when you are connecting with people at a deep level like this on a regular basis, uh, great things start to happen for you. And as a result, um, you are expanding your connection, which is your social uh, community building and your personal relationship creation and expansion. And <clears throat> because you have reached out to these people now in your mind, this thought process is going on in your head. So your subconscious mind is very subtly yet powerfully looking for ways for, to help you meet this person very, very soon. Um, if you have not studied uh, any you know, positive vibrational energy kind of thing, which many people think is woo, -woo yeah. All right, cool, man. <laughs> they can think it's woo, but what, what you do is, I, I, I highly encourage you to study some other things of Abraham Hicks. And if you don't know exactly how to find it, uh, you know, reach out to Anupama, my team member, Anupama at Bishalsarkar.com, and she's going to send you some other materials. Not materials, she's going to point you in direction or where you can go and uh, invest in yourself and get some of those materials from them. It's not we are not endorsed. Uh, we're not endorsing them, but I have really got a lot of value from studying her stuff, Abraham Hicks. So, Nagesh, and I got a lot of likes from my article and shared the article with a friend whom I wrote an article. We are catching up. So that's amazing, great, Nagesh. This is exactly what I'm speaking about. So, just like you have met this friend and you're catching up soon, um, the third technique for all of us here um, is you can reach out to a friend. Uh, before going to sleep and that gives you a sense of gratitude and thankfulness and um, it's, a, it's a great feeling. So these are the three uh, techniques or tips that you can use before going to bed uh, every single night instead of just being on what Facebook or YouTube which you right now are on <laughs> which is great but after this you know if you want to sleep well just you want to uh, do something in order to really create a positive vibration in your brain. So first thing you can do is you can read a book uh, like I said, um, something positive. You can start with As a Man Thinketh, the book, or Think and Grow Rich, um, something like that. Or, um, you know, something which is not very, very technical. That's number one. Number two, um, three great things that happened today. That question. What are the three great things that happened today? And you answer it, like, a, like on a journal. You don't think, you actually write. So that's the commitment level. Um, and the third is send a message or an audio to a friend, colleague, client, somebody, um, relative, maybe one of your family members stay very far from you, maybe your brother stays in a different country or your father stays in a different city, send them a message at night or maybe schedule it for the morning uh, that, so that it goes in the morning. And when you do these three things, you'll find more joy in your sleep. When you go, go to sleep, you're going to find more gratitude in your heart you'll find more power in your existence and when you wake up in the morning you'll feel more energetic than most people feel even after doing two hours of workout and you're going to feel that kind of energy because you have taken the time
to develop your mind, body and spirit before going to bed without doing much of work, but with, by doing the right vibrational action. That is my tip for you. If you really got value from this, uh, which I see, Aishu, Ashish, amazing, great. The punch are good, good to thank. Thanks so much, guys, for being here. And congratulations to you for being a part of this and getting value from this. <laughs> Love this. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome, Nagesh. Great. And make sure you keep applying these techniques and tactics because remember, knowledge is not power. Applied knowledge is power. Knowledge is just potential power. It's just potential. It's not a real power. Um, and next, uh, tomorrow or day after, I'm actually planning to schedule a special training for some of my private clients. These are not my the people who come to me for public speaking, um, mastery, or confidence. This is also not my mastermind members, which is you know pay they pay up to you know so my, there are different levels in the mastermind in my 24 lakhs mastermind. But this is not even for them. I'm actually planning to do a special training for some of my private clients who invest at a very, very high level, somewhere between 24 to 95 lakhs rupees a year to learn from me. And the money doesn't matter here. I'm just letting you know that I'm actually going to be recording a quick three-minute segment from one of the trainings I'm going to be doing for them. And I'm going to be uh, sending you privately for those of you who have attended this live stream today, uh, if you just send me a message. Uh, about that. So I'm not going to be sending directly to everybody because I don't like doing that too much. Uh, but if you send me a message after this uh, live stream is done, after this call is done, saying, Bishal, I would love that uh, five minutes segment that you're going to do for your private clients. And I'll tell you what it's going to be about. It's going to be about high voltage confidence, high voltage confidence. I mean, just imagine you <laughs> walking into a room without having to say anything in such an amazing, powerful manner that people instantly look at you as if you are a living God and genius. If you could do that, how would that change your personal life? How would that transform your career? How would that transform your finances? How would that transform your self-image and self-esteem? Well, this is exactly what I'm going to do. So if you want access to that, uh, just send me a private message for those of you who are friends with me here. It's not going to be for everybody, but send me a private message saying I want that private client recording of that, of that training segment, um, which is part of the private client uh, coaching program. But I'm going to be sending it to you as well. A quick five minute segment from the entire day training, which is going to be very, very powerful. This segment is called the high voltage confidence. I'm going to be sending you that. I hope you have a great time. Time for you to apply these three techniques that you learned today and listen to it again and again and get it into your subconscious mind. Watch it in the morning when you're going to your office, watching in the evening and get it inside your head. That's my tip for you for today. My name is Bishal Sarkar, always reminding you and you and you <laughs> that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection.